if you understand how you're actually making your interest rate, it's just on the slope of, oh, yeah. you know, our favorite word, the contango, right? Yeah. And, you know, the funding rates and, and the, rather the slope of the, of the upward sloping futures curve. Um, it, it doesn't, it's not written in stone and that, that curve can collapse and it can, uh, you know, so some of these rates, and don't forget, it's, it's only math. If you make it for one month, but multiply it by 12 to annualize it, something that's yielding 1% over a month, but you multiply it by 12 because it exists for one month, it rolls down the curve and you're 1%, but you say, oh, well, that's 12% annualized. Yeah, it is if you can do it for one month, but who says you can do it continuously for the next 12 months? And yeah. what if that curve flips from contango into normal backwardation and all this sort of stuff? Okay, so I like it, but Preston, I don't think enough people understand that the futures curve is fluid 